Good morning. It's Monday, March 27th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, A Living Sacrifice, and our scripture is Acts chapter 20. On the first day of the week, we gathered with the local believers to share in the Lord's Supper. Paul was preaching to them, and since he was leaving the next day, he kept talking until midnight. The upstairs room where we met was lighted with many flickering lamps. As Paul spoke on and on, a young man named Eutychus, sitting on the window sill, became very drowsy. Finally, he fell sound asleep and dropped three stories to his death below. Paul went down, bent over him, and took him into his arms. Don't worry, he said, he's alive. Then they all went back upstairs, shared in the Lord's Supper, and ate together. Paul continued talking to them until dawn, and then he left. Meanwhile, the young man was taken home alive and well, and everyone was greatly relieved. There's an old story about faith that many preachers, this one included, have used in a sermon to illustrate the dangers of an incomplete commitment, a faith that falls short of full surrender to Christ. It was at a regular Sunday morning worship that the pastor's sermon was interrupted by a commotion coming from the back pew. It seems Brother Ants had fallen out of the pew and landed on his posterior with a thud that shook the entire building. The pastor rushed to the back of the church and helped old Ants back onto his seat. Are you all right, brother? asked the preacher. Yep, I guess so, answered the old deacon. The preacher asked, well, how did it happen that you fell out the pew? Old Ants thought just a moment then replied, well, I'm a-guessing I just never got all the way in that seat in the first place. I've heard it preached that was Eutychus's problem too. Some, including most preachers and congregations, might blame it on Paul's longish sermon, the drone factor. Scripture says there were a lot of candles burning in the upper room where Paul preached, lots of heat. The young man got close enough to get warm, but not close enough to get uncomfortably hot. Fire will burn you and motivate you. Not getting close enough for the burning experience will make you sleepy. Add sitting in an open third-story window, and you've got a perfect storm for disaster. So what's the point? Well, I do believe Paul remembered Eutychus and included his sleeping in church faux pas when he wrote to the believers at Rome, Romans chapter 12. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he's done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. For you today, giving yourself to God as a holy sacrifice is a matter of willingly climbing up on the altar for whatever God wants. It doesn't mean being willing to be comfortably near the fire. It means submitting to the fire for the glory of God. You cannot expect transformation if you're only close enough to let the warmth put you to sleep. You'll wind up like Brother Ants on the faith floor. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.